So here we are, welcome back to Apex Legends. These are the few things you must not do ever in order to improve in Apex Legends. I've been practicing for a few weeks, see you can see here, I've been practicing for a few weeks the Apex but I didn't see any improvement, I'm dying constantly, I can't see enemies where are they, but why is it all happening? Then I tweaked on some settings and tweaked on and brought the crypto character the character does not play you want to play your style that's how the character helps but how to win the most gun fights I'm doing better now with these things so without a duel let's first jump into the firing range and I'll show you what I'm talking about so upgrading my settings not the PC my monitor is very very old monitor it's a dell some kind of model it's just a regular monitor okay i'm not any playing on those fancy monitors so how to improve in apex legends it's do not focus on the fps if you are getting off average of 60 that would be enough on um, for myself because console players play well on the 60 fps to 50 i think 50 they get 50 i guess 50 to 45 i don't know so it really caught me uh, uh, sorry 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 it really caught my eye but how console players are getting 50 fps and playing that well i'm getting here 144 fps and playing like trash i can't see any enemies but they can see any enemies like there here there anywhere so i tweaked on to some settings i know sensitivity is the key but get into video resolution is also kind of thing you can't set it in the console but it's a thing i don't know about console but these are the advanced graphic settings for pc VSync is disabled. So the topic anti-aliasing. I turn them everything to low. So what happens? I can see a screen tear right there. I don't know if you see it, but I can see some screen tears. And I can see pixelated models. Like the rock is pixelated, so that region is pixelated if there is a enemy showing his head I would think it's a pixel so he can easily take me down with a sniper so this is what kept me behind of not seeing the enemies the dummy is now seeable right when I get close this is the quality of the dummy but when I go this distance it's just deteriorated the dummy is just gone you can still shoot but when I go back I couldn't see it I don't know you can see it in the video or not but it's just like a blob it's red in color so we can see that if a braid which comes with a default black skin or crypto with a black skin I would definitely think there is no enemy so after changing these settings my graphic card is RX 570 and there is some settings in graphics card too just go anti-aliasing TSSA TSAA this is not like those motion blur or anti-aliasing which decreases the performance it's the anti-aliasing especially TSAA offers highest anti-aliasing quality with the most stable image and fastest frame rate so this will compromise only 1 to 2 percent or in case 10 percent of the performance meaning 2 to 5 frames drop that's it I didn't notice much only in heavy loads I guess texture you can keep very low or low and coming to this thing texture filtering 
bilinear and trilinear are trash dude. Do not keep them. If you are playing on a low grade GPU, I suggest you upgrade that to 4x. And you can keep them all low. That is it. Now I'm going to show you the difference. It's uh, the field of view stays at 80 or 90. You need to keep it to 110. It widens the range. So apply. Look at the quality of this dummy. And when I get back, look at that. When I even get back, I can see it's a player model. Before it was just a pixel blob. And you can see my frames right top right. Very little drop. There is no difference. So what I'm saying is the settings matter. So MD Radeon thing. Performance I said you. In my old videos I guess you can see that. And my GPU especially my GPU is. See after tweaking the settings I just drop like. 3 to 4 fps before the average was 133 but here 126 on the lowest setting as possible see game compatibility here is the upgrade advisor you can know that but where is okay wait this is my gpu this is the radian rx 570 and get into the performance uh, home where is the display settings here is the display settings you can the main thing is virtual super resolution I enable this wait I'll disable it for once I have the worst quality on my monitor I guess I go here see I only see 1080p actually my display is 1366 by 768 or something but if I change this here that doesn't think anything but when I enable this setting virtual super resolution when I enable this see 1440p resolution has been enabled on my monitor I can use this but my monitor doesn't support it so how this setting is available what does my GPU does is it renders the image from 1440p resolution towards this 1366 by 768 resolution uh, does this take any huge load on the GPU? No, it doesn't because my game actually runs in this resolution. But the image quality has been increased. How? How? Huh? It's just simple. It downscales the image to here to improve the image quality in this screen as equal to 1440p meaning it improves the image but it's not 1440p it's kind of complicated in simple words just enable this you don't see any loss in your performance custom resolution you can keep it if you want to and when you get here get into the windows settings display settings get into advanced display settings and display adapter properties what the okay it, it's open the background I didn't got any sound get into list all modes it is running the 60 hertz this can be enabled but if I enable it my monitor goes blurry because it doesn't support that 
so it's running on a top end thing on 60 hertz it's a widen thing it can run it's uh, okay leave that just set to the 60 hertz and and something blah 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 that's how you can tweak your display into producing a 1440p image into your display and HDMI link assurance what is this HDMI connectivity issues and drops your display to lower link speed to avoid problems so the screen tearing and screen frequency for gaming you know it displays the 60 Hertz always so make sure you enable that you can see I didn't drop any performance my process is Ryzen 1600 where is that PC yeah this PC Ryzen 1600 not X also it's 1600 8 gigabits of RAM running on 3000 megahertz that's a change you need to do that because Ryzen loves fast fast why am I opening stream labs okay so reviewing fast motion videos click that 